Hey there guys, so today I am was packing a little bit earlier and stuff and I've decided that I need to go through all of my makeup and stuff and I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride of going through what I use and what I don't use so it might be a little bit of a longer video but it should be good. So let's jump right on into this. Alright, so first I have about three of these little things to go through, just little drawers from a one of those little plastic shelfy things. I don't know what they're called really. But yes. So mostly eyeshadows and stuff in here. So we're going to try to go through it and see what I use, what I don't use, what I can get rid of, what I want to keep. So first I have this little super sparkly little Avon one. Two lighter colors here don't really give a lot of shade. So they mostly just give off a lot of sparkle and I really like that about them. So I'm going to keep these ones. <laughs> um, what's this one? A Estee Lauder? Yes, an Estee Lauder little mini, whoops, I have bad aim, little mini palette. I honestly don't really use this one a lot, so like the only color I actually really use from it is this one as you can tell right here. So I think that's going to be the first thing in my giveaway or get rid of pile. Um, next I have this e.l.f. like four purple one. And I do, do use this one a lot. I haven't recently because I've been in a very neutral colored phase. But I think I will keep this one because I do use that one a lot. Next I have these, um, they're just little cheap ones from the dollar store. And me and my friend went and got them for like Halloween and stuff, but I actually really like them afterwards. The color is actually really good in them even though they're from the dollar store. So there's this one that has a bunch of random bright colors, which I don't actually use. I use the white the most, if you can tell it's pretty much gone. So this one is another to go bye byes And then this is another dollar store one that's got a bunch of purples and stuff in it. Um. I don't think I use this one a lot either, so that one can go as well. Then we go on to my little Wet n Wild palettes. You guys get a little sneak peek, so anytime I do like a favorites or anything now, you guys are going to know what I'm going to put in there. That's okay. <laughs> so there's this one here, which is the three colors, which I actually, I love this one. I don't really use the brown a lot, because it's kind of that off-colored brown that I'm not a huge fan of, but I do use the pink and the white a lot, so we'll keep that one. This one, I honestly don't think I've ever actually used. I've tested, but I never actually have used it. So I think I might see if some one of my friends want this because it's a little bit too dark for my taste. Ooh, yay, finally the last thing in this shelf. Yeah. So it's this little palette here, and I do use this one a lot because it's a very neutral palette. It's, I think from the dollar store again, it's their Cosmic Colors. I got it from one of the dollar stores here and it's just a very nice neutral palette and I really like the colors in it. I use this pretty much every day. This is my go-to palette for everyday stuff and it's really nice because they're super shimmery which I really like in eyeshadows and they're very good for pigment and stuff. They have a very good color payoff and I really really like that. Alrighty, so moving on to shelf number two. So my first one is... And these I normally only keep for Halloween and stuff. They're just a bunch of like little clear glitters with a few different colored sparkles to them. And I used to use glitter a lot more and I'm finding myself not using it anymore so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, oh there's a bunch of like eyeshadow and blusher combos and stuff in here. So my first blusher is the CoverGirl Cheekers in... Just blush. Just blush. So it's a nice like brownie pink kind of color. I actually really like this one. I haven't used it in a while because I think I forgot I had it. But I definitely will be keeping that one. Um, and then I have the Essence Sun Club All-in-One Bronzing Highlighter for blondes or lighter skin. So this one's really nice because it actually comes with like the blusher kind of shades, the highlighter kind of shades, and the lots of bronzer. And I actually use this quite a bit. I don't actually have a lot of highlighter colors 
So I actually use this one a lot for my highlights. Yeah, this one's called Sunlight, the color palette for it. So yeah, I'll definitely be keeping that one. Another Essence one, and Essence is the Shoppers Drug Mart brand, and I actually really like a lot of their stuff. It actually, for the price you pay for it, is actually really good quality. So the next one is these little eyeshadow palette. And, ooh, this one's kind of dirty. Uh, clean them off for you guys a bit. It's okay. But they're actually really nice. The color payoff is actually pretty good for them. Like, they're a fairly sheer color payoff, but I actually sometimes when I'm just doing like a very neutral face and stuff, I actually really enjoy those. So I definitely will be keeping those. Um, I have a couple hard candy ones here. And first is the hard candy little highlight blusher. Um... It's a very light pink color, so I actually might use it. I haven't actually used it before, so I might start. It's their Baked Blush. Um, yeah, that's the name of the color, too. So I'll keep that one for now. Um, this is their Baked Bronzer, the hard candy one, and I haven't ever actually used this one. I don't think. I think I've tested it a few times. It's a little bit too light for what I want because it's very shimmery as well and I'm not a huge fan of shimmer in my bronzers so I think that's another one I'm gonna see if one of my friends wants or not um, I have two more little dollar store palettes I don't know why but I love going to the dollar store for their palettes they actually have really good palettes and stuff and as you can tell I've used this silver a lot it's pretty much down to like bare minimals but yeah it's actually a fairly nice little color palette I do like this one and then the other little dollar store one is this one here, which a bun with bleh, with a bunch of bright colors in it. Jeez, I can't English today, guys. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think I'll keep those. If I don't use them within the next, like, say, three months, I'll get rid of them. Because I haven't used them for a while, but you never know. I might. Um, and then I have my just my plain little highlighter. I can't remember what brand this is or where I got it because I've had it for a while. But it's very good for just like a light shimmer. It doesn't make me feel like I have like a bunch of white on my face, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I do like that one. Um, and then I do have my Clinique. Oh, what's this one called? Um, it's a limited edition one for the Grays palette. But as you can see, the colors are really nice. I do use this one quite a bit. I'm actually a huge fan of this color right here. It's a very nice mauve kind of color and I really like that. Alrighty, so we're gonna move on to my last little drawer in my little makeup thing. Um, the first one I think I did in a haul a couple times ago. Not 100% when I did this, but it's the Glam Eyes HD Remo London one in English Rose. It's that one there. I haven't actually used it yet but I just bought it so I don't want to get rid of it yet so I definitely will keep that one um, the next one is the Smackers Tokyo Treats which I just I bought it for the packaging because how flippin adorable is that like the colors are actually really nice they're two nice very purpley kind of colors but I honestly bought it for decoration for that because that is flippin adorable um, next I have three of the Essence eyeshadows. Um, this one is the Metal Glam in Chocolate Jewelry. So it's a very nice like dark brown um, brassy kind of color I guess. Um, I do wear this one quite a bit. This is a very big crease color for me. I use it quite often. Um, I have another Metal Glam one. It's kind of got shedding going on. And this one is called Nice Frosting. And it's just a very nice white one. Um, it's very shimmery, shiny. I like it. Um, I don't use this one very often. I normally use it just for like the inner corners of my eyes, just to brighten them a little bit. But I will keep it because that one I have used quite a bit. The next one is just one of their Essence eyeshadows. This one's in Starlight. And I haven't actually used this one hardly at all. It is a very dark kind of silver color but I haven't really used it so I think it's going to go in my pile of not keeps 
Um, and then I have my Color Tattoo by iStudio 24 hour eyeshadow. This one's in Too Cool. And it's the Maybelline, from Maybelline New York. And it's just a very, it's just a white. I use this for a base every once in a while. Because it's really nice because it doesn't actually crease and stuff. So I do use this one for a base if I want my eyeshadows to like really pop if I'm using a lot of colors and stuff. Um, next I have three of these little Estee Lauder spaceship pots. Don't really know what they're called. Um, infinite eyeshadow. This one's in perpetual pink. So it's just a very light pink. These ones are so incredibly shimmery. I love these to death. This one is ultimate silver. So it's a very shiny silver color. And the last one is a vibrant violet. So it's a very nice dark purple color. And all of them have like super great color payoff. I love it so much. Um, next is Essence Stay All Day La Long Lasting Eyeshadow in For Fairies. This is 09 For Fairies. And as you can tell, I've pretty much used the whole thing up. And then I have a bunch of these powder, like eyeshadow powders, and I can't remember, I think I got it, those giant makeup kits that they bring out at Christmas time and stuff, I believe I got it from there, but they're just a bunch of like random powder colors and stuff, like there's this green, which is really nice, um, I use this one quite a bit, it's like a bronzy kind of color, um, there's a dark navy blue, which is really nice going to quickly kind of show you all of these colors. There's this like dark mauvey pinky color which I love this color so much. Um, yeah I think it was one of those ones because it says cut color studio on it. So I think it is one of those um, those giant makeup things you get at Christmas time. This one's like a nice like light purple. I am getting these everywhere as well. I am like going to be full of color by the time this is done. Um, there's like a light silver. Yeah, it's like a black with silver sparkles in it. And then I have this like baby pink. So like super light. And as you can tell, I've used that one quite a bit. So with my loose makeup, I think first we're going to do lips to see what kind of lipstick I have and stuff. Um, the first one is just my lip gloss or my lip chap, which I showed you guys in my, I think it was my June favorites, if I'm not mistaken. And it's my live by one and then I believe I got these two in my haul so they're brand new my NYX intense butter gloss and my butter gloss so those ones I will definitely be keeping next I have these little um, shakers by Lancome and I think I featured these in one of my recent videos as well but there's the berry in love which is like the darker purple and this one is boomerang which is a light pink um, and then I have my NYX matte lipstick in Aria, which is like this nice dark purpley kind of color, which is actually really nice on. And then I have a bunch of these NYC lipsticks, and I absolutely love NYC for their lipsticks. Their lipsticks are amazing. Um, these are the Expert Last Lip Color NYC. Um, this one is Blue Rose, so it's just a nice darker pink kind of color. This one is called Peach Fuzz, so it's like a nice kind of orangey, peachy orangey color. Um, this one which is in Candy Rush, and this is probably the one I've used the most, which is just a very baby pink. I'm not a huge super dark color on my lip kind of person. I'm branching out a little bit. As you can tell, I have, I believe the one I have on right now is the Intense Butter Gloss in Napoleon, or Neapolitan. And they're actually really nice. I like them. The color stays pretty good. Um, this one is called Flirty. So it's a very nice pinky color. And this one is called Forever Fuchsia. It's just a very bright pink, which I do like that one actually a lot. This one is called Creamy Caramel, or Caramel, however you guys pronounce it. I say caramel. But. And then my last NYC one is Smooth Beige, which is just a very nice nude kind of color. I actually use this one quite a bit under a lot of colors as well. 
and then I have one essence one and I can't actually remember what the color is because I don't actually have the sticker on here anymore but it's just a very shimmery light little pink one and I actually really like it it actually goes on very sheer so it's more like a gloss than a lipstick and then my last two ones are ones that I've just recently bought and I had in a haul and the one is what's up doc and it's the very orangey wet and wild one and then this one is will you be with me and it's the pinker kind of one and they're both wet and wild so next we'll go on to like eyeliners and there's like lip glosses there might be like one or two actual lipstick kind of things in here I'm not 100% sure it's kind of just a mumbo jumbo of everything as you can see so first is kind of like a another dollar store product and it's just a oh geez it flakes really bad it's just like a very it's just a shimmer pretty much like a silver shimmer I don't actually use this anymore so I think I might just get rid of that I um the next is from our dens and it's the ACO lipstick and this one is in blueberry crush and it actually smells like blueberries but as you can see it's a very bluey kind of color and actually comes out blue I have never actually worn this my friend used it for Halloween last year but I've never used it I don't know if I should keep it or not it's one of those iffy products because I love the color but I've never actually had it on my lips so chances are if I haven't actually had it on my lips and I've had it since Halloween I should get rid of it and then I have one more of the AOC lipsticks and this one's in make me blush and this one I have used a couple times and it's just a very nice pink color so this one I will keep I have used that um next oh it's another lip smackers thing and I don't actually use this but again I bought it for the packaging because it's one of the Tokyo ones and look at how cute that is it's just Mickey and Minnie in like little the like the Zum Zum the little Japanese little Disney things it looks like them and so I just thought it was adorable so I keep it so my next one is the Lancome Juicy Tubes. This one is, does this one have a color to it or is it just light pink? Light pink with sparkles. I, I don't know. It doesn't have a name or anything on it or not one that I can find anyways. It might, but I just might not be able to see it. I don't know. I can't tell. And then I have some Clinique Chubby Sticks. I love these things this one's in keeping hazelnut and as you can tell I do use it because it's I have to actually twist it out so it's just a very nude kind of color I love it, it comes, uh, my next Clinique chubby stick is pudgy peony which I haven't used this one a lot because I just recently got this one but it's a very nice pinky color so I think I'll keep that one. Oh yes I do have one more and it's the mega melon and it's just a little uh, how do I describe this color like a beigey pink beigey pink melon pink I don't know <laughs> it's a pink <laughs> um, and then I have these little mini Clinique lip glosses that I got when they have their gifts and stuff they're super super cute um, Ooh, there is colors this one's love at first sight it's super nice light little pink one this one is juicy apple so it's a nice like red gloss and they just come out very sheer so I like that Oh no, the color came off of this one. <gasps> I can't tell you what color this one is. The little thing fell off. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. It's okay. Um, this one is an Essence lip gloss. I can't actually remember what the color is. Ooh, Bubble Babe. This one is Bubble Babe, so it's just a very, very light pink. It's pretty much just a light pink gloss with a sparkle in it. Oh my goodness, eyeliners. So... I do have a bunch of Avon eyeliners as you can tell a bunch of Avon ones these two are the same color which I really like the purple eyeliner this one is just like a nice blue kind of color and then this one's just a black um, I think I just recently got these so I will keep them for now um, and then I have a bunch of essence ones I shop it I shop at shoppers drug mart apparently a lot I have a lot of essence eyeliners and stuff like these are all essence eyeliners <laughs> so this is the one I actually have on today this is the one I use quite
quite a bit. Um, and it's just their liquid eyeliner in water, their waterproof liquid eyeliner one. I actually really like it. I really like the tip of it because the just a little tiny itty bitty thing as you can see. And I find it so easy because I really suck at making my wings and stuff, but with this I find it super easy to do. And I love it. Um, and then I have the Essence Gel Pencil in Waterproof, and it's the, like, dark, super dark, like, forest green kind of color. It's super nice. This one's called Urban Jungle. I knew they had names. And then I have two... Oh, one of my lip glosses has leaked because I'm sticky. I have two of the Essence Super Fine eyeliner pens. One's in waterproof, one's in just regular. So they're these really nice like felt tip, super pointy kind of pen liners and I really like them. I have just their little Kaja pencil which is just like a basic black liner, pencil liner. And then I have this one in Tutu Turquoise which is like a shimmery turquoisey eyeliner and I do like that one a lot. I don't use it very often and I normally only use it under my eyes. Um, and then I actually have a Wet n Wild purple one, and I actually use this more for lips than I do for eyes. And it's just a dark purple liner. Um, I have my Quo eyeliner in Sexy Black, and it actually comes with a little the smudger on one end and the twist out liner on the other. And this one's really nice. I do like that one. Um, Oh, I don't use this one anymore. It's the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. This one here. I don't actually use that one anymore, so I can get rid of that one. Um, I have this little Clinique Skinny Stick. And this one, oh, do you have a color? Sleek Teak. Sleek Teak, and it's just a light gray kind of eyeliner, but it's the tip, as you can see, is super, super tiny, like, super tiny. Because, like, this is the stick. It's super small. I like it. And then I have a hard candy, just plain black eyeliner. So, now we're going to go on to my little cover-up drawer, which is super flippin' adorable. I love this. I got it at the dollar store. It's super flippin' cute. I love it. So, first I have two different shades of the CoverGirl CG Smoothers BB Creams. Um, this one's the fair to light and then I have the light to medium so when I have a tan and when I don't have a tan I actually have the fair to light on right now so it's just a very fair coverage I actually really like it because my skin gets very irritated with cover-ups and it doesn't help that I'm allergic to SPF so I can't use a lot of cover-ups because they have SPF in them so I can't actually use them but these ones I've actually the formula is really nice it's very moisturizing to my skin too so I actually really like that um, and then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless cover-up, and the color I use is 112 Natural Ivory. Um, I haven't actually used this one in a while, but I do like it. I've been using mostly my BB creams just because my face has been having a lot of breakouts and stuff recently, so I don't like to put a lot of cover-up on when I have that. But yeah, I do like the matte poreless. It's really nice. It doesn't go too matte, but you don't have shine to your face, which I'm not a huge fan of, unless I put highlighter on. That's the only time I want shine to my face is when I put highlighter on. Um, the next is my Clinique Acne Solutions Liquid Cover-Up. This one's in 14, which is fresh, f f fair. <sighs> I really can't speak today. What is wrong with me? So, fresh flare. These ones are really nice because they actually have the acne medicine in them. So when I do get really bad breakouts, I use these and within a couple days of using it, it does help clear up my breakouts and stuff, which is really nice. Um, and then I have my concealer, which I actually need to get a new one because I'm pretty much out of this one. It's the NYX HD concealer. Um, what color was it? Just CW01. But I am pretty much out of this now. I'm like scraping the bottom of the barrel. So I need to actually go and get myself another one of these. But that's also in there. And then I have my eyeshadow primer, which I swear by this stuff. 
and it's the Hard Candy Eyeshadow Primer, Eyes the Limit. This stuff is eyeshadow priming gold. I have never had issues with it, it never creases my eyeshadow, it's just wonderful. So last I'm going to do my like eyeshadow palettes and stuff, my big ones that can't actually fit in anything. And then there's my loose powder and one blush, which I'll start with the blush, which is my Physician's Formula, what was it called again? Um, Sexy Boost Sexy Glow br Blush in Rose, which was this one here, which is the little high heel. And I pretty much use this all the time. It's the one I'm wearing right now, so I can't get rid of it because I use it all the time. Um, and then there's my Marcel, I think that's how you say it, is Marcel Face Powder, the hyperallergenic one, the translucent powder. Um, next, I just got this one. I just featured it in a haul. It's my W7 In The Night Smoky Shadows, this one here. So I just got it. I actually have the colors on right now kind of very light you can't really see it but I am wearing this one right now then I have my elf baked eyeshadows which was this one here and I just got this one too I just featured this one in a haul as well so I definitely will keep that one I have this Clinique one and I can't remember I think it was like a special purchase one so yeah but I don't actually use it so I think I might get rid of it because as you can tell it's pretty much hasn't been used. I actually really like the colors in it though but because there's two eyeshadows and then one blusher but I don't know I've never actually used them. So I think I'll give it another like month if I don't use it I will get rid of this one. And then another Essence product apparently I really like their stuff. And this one is the How to Make Smoky Eyes Makeup Box. So it comes with the six little eyeshadows, a little brush. I loved the little mirror because it was a little speech bubble. But yeah, they're just very nice, kind of smoky colors. Um, okay, don't laugh at me for this one. I found this one at Winners, and it is it is a child's eyeshadow palette. But I really liked the colors, and yes, it does say my first makeup collection. But I really like the colors and the payout is really nice for the colors so don't judge me so it's a very big palette too and I think I spent I believe I spent six bucks on this palette and it's a very big palette and it has a fair selection of like pinks and purples which I used to wear all the time I still wear quite a lot but not as much as I used to but I love this palette don't judge me <laughs> The next is actually from Claire's, and I don't actually know why I have it. I think my friend bought it for me for a gift. I can't remember, but it's their Metallics Metallic Eye Book. Don't really know. It kind of it's kind of a cool concept because it gives you the instructions on this side, and then on this side you have your eyeshadows and stuff. I took in taken the mascaras and stuff out because I don't really use them and there was a set of eyelashes and brushes and stuff in here but I've taken those out already because I've used the lashes and stuff and then there's one little eyeliner in here which chances are I won't use the eyeliner I keep it mostly for the shadows but yeah I thought it was a neat little concept I like that their stuff has a lot of like instructions for people who don't really know how to do makeup or are just starting to use makeup and stuff because it is more for like a preteen kind of audience but I do really really like it and my last piece of makeup in my collection oh goodness my last piece is my 88 color palette the shimmer eyeshadows by BH cosmetics and I really need to buy a new one because all the colors that I have used quite a bit are pretty much down to nothing but this is my little palette um these ones are a godsend. I love these eyeshadows like so much. They're super super shimmery which I look for in an eyeshadow. Not sparkly but shimmery and I love them so much. This has lasted me for over a year and I have broken it. There's a little chip out of the corner. The mirror is cracked. This thing has gone through all hell and back but it has lasted me for over a year so far but I do need to buy a new one because all the colors that I use on a regular basis are pretty much all used up. So 
So, as you guys can see, I have different hair, but I goofed and I forgot what was in my little Zoella beauty bag. So, I'll give you guys that, too. Um, so, first I have two of my NYC Smooth Skins Bronzing Face Powders. I have two of them. And they're both in 720A Sunny. So, they're just like that. As you can tell, I use them a lot. So there's those. And then keeping with bronzers, I have my Sun Club Brunettes Darker Skin Matte Bronzing Powder from Essence. So there's that one. This one actually has like a coconut smell to it. And then I have my Clinique Cheek Pop in Heather Pop in 14. So there's that. Then I have my Blush Nudes by Maybelline. The palette and I've showed you guys this before in a favorites but love these colors so much and they're in my Zoella beauty bag because this is my bag that I use most of the time for a lot of things so there's that then there's my um, Smackers Minnie Mouse ready to wear collection and it's just these cute little pink black gray and white and I do like these ones a lot they're very subtle just everyday work kind of look. Then I have another NYC little three palette, which is very neutral color. This one is Late Night Latte. So these ones are really nice colors, the little cream, medium kind of brown, and then a dark brown. And then I have a Elizabeth Arden little palette. I don't really use this one a lot, so I think I might get rid of this one as well. So that one's gone out of my thing. I don't know why it was in my everyday use bag, but same with this one. I just bought this one. Don't know why it's in my everyday use bag, but it's the Remo London, the Dark Angel one. I've just recently bought this one as well. So there's that one. And then there's just my sharpener in there. So that's my little bag that I forgot to show you guys. So guys, that's been cleaning out my little, my makeup desk. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's kind of a not normally what I do kind of video, but I figured I'm moving and I need to do it anyway, so I might as well make a video out of it. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully you guys seen some things that you're like, ooh, I like that, so I might have to go and get that. And this opens up a lot of room for me to go and get more stuff, which I really don't need, but I will probably end up doing anyways. But yes, I hope you guys liked it. If you do, hit the like button, um, subscribe for more content, and leave a comment down in the comment section if there's anything you want me to like tell you like pricings on anything or anything like that or if you have any suggestions for any videos you'd like me to do in the future or anything but yeah that was super fun and I really enjoyed it I hope you guys did too and I will see you guys next time